Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Now we're going to get a couple of value stock picks from Tracy Reinick, our value stock analyst at Zax.com, strategist analyst. I keep going back and forth with that <laughs> term. It's because you are all things to the value I sector, so. I guess. Um, I don't know if we've talked about, you and I have talked about this one before, Arch Chemicals. No. Mm -hmm. uh, ARJ, ticker symbol. No. This is but, a new one in the chemical area. You know how I'm, I'm on a mission to cover all of yeah. the chemical sector. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I have not done this one, actually. Right. Um, I've never heard of it, but they have a kind of an interesting little niche business here, which is um, they, they make the chemicals that go and kill bad microbes, basically. And okay. the thing that I really related to is that a lot of it is water-based. So swimming pools, drinking water, they make the chemicals that go in and make that safe. Um, and one other thing that I thought was interesting, they make the chemical that goes into anti-dandruff shampoo to Ooh. kill those little microbes or those little dandruffy things. Yeah, so, whatever they're called. I know. So when you um, don't have hair, you don't have to worry about <laughs> right, it. Right, right. So it's kind of interesting. And like the other chemical companies, you know, they're, they're really seeing big business here. Um, the... The second quarter that they just reported was an excellent one. They saw sales jump 17%. Um, a lot of it was based on that, the drinking water sector. But the anti-dandruff shampoo was also really hot, too. Okay. <laughs> Who knows why? Um, and, you know, estimates are up here because they raised guidance, so and, and quite substantially. So they're seeing some strong demand coming forward here, which is, we're also seeing from a lot of the chemical companies. Um, and the chart is kind of interesting on this one. It hasn't done much since the spring, to be honest. It's been just kind of back and forth and kind of volatile, but it's only trading about 13 and a half times earnings, which is about in line with the S&P 500 here. But the story's interesting because, you know, there's this big demand to kill microbes. Apparently. Chemicals. Yeah. Okay, who to thunk? I know. Uh, G3 Apparel, I think that's how this is pronounced. Ticker yeah. is G-I-I-I. -I -I. Yes. We'll say G3. Uh, and we'll stand corrected if it's not right. <laughs> uh, they are uh, an apparel manufacturer, though. Yes. Um, you never really, you've never heard of this company, at least most people haven't, but you've heard of all their products. Uh, they have a, a whole bunch of brands that they produce on their own, including um, a lot of coat lines, like Andrew Mark. You'll see a lot of their coats in the winter, actually. And they also own the Wilson's leather chain for some reason. They bought that a couple of years ago. Okay. But they also have licenses for a lot of really well-known brands, like Jessica Simpson, Nine West, Dockers, Calvin Levi's, Klein. Calvin Klein. Yeah. And you'd think that clothes in this kind of area would not be doing well, but I guess we would be thinking wrong because they just reported on September 1st. So this is just recent data. Mm -hmm. And they easily beat estimates. The, uh, uh, the Zach's consensus was looking for a two cent loss. They did see 17 cent loss last year on that quarter. And they uh, saw a profit of 15 cents. So that was a huge beat for them. And they're seeing you know, strong demand in like women's dresses for some reason, which is interesting. Can't count the consumer out yet. No, no, apparently not. And the, um, they raised guidance quite strongly, um, just like Arch Chemicals did. And the, all the estimates are up on, on the raising of the guidance, obviously. This one also has kind of an interesting chart. It's, it was up well off the March lows as retailers have done real well there. Then it pulled back and then on this earnings surprise it got a big jump. It's not trading that expensively either. It's about 11 times. And because it has this kind of big growth projection actually going forward, it has a peg of only 0.6, which is really low. It's yeah. kind of has both the value and the growth component. Really? Do you yeah. own either one of these two? I do not. All right. If you want to check out more Zach's Rank Buy Stock Pick Ideas and other investing categories or in Tracy's, and you're not at our homepage already, go to Zach's.com because in the upper right-hand corner is where we put four new stock pick ideas for you daily, one in each of the investing categories written about on Zach's.com, Tracy's included. With Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.